Steve Olin was the ace of the bullpen, plain and simple. The 27-year-old had confounded the experts who didn't believe a kid who threw sidearm and not very hard could be effective in the big leagues. But the baby-faced Olin was eighth in the American League with 29 saves last year and was third on the all-time Indian save list. Ole was also one of the loosest players in the clubhouse, proven when he and lefty Kevin Wickander staged a bubblegum chewing contest last summer. He leaves behind wife Patty, a three-year-old daughter, and twins born just last August, and a legion of Indian fans who cheered every one of his 48 saves. Tim Cruz was one of the newest Indians, signing as a free agent from the Dodgers in January. The 31-year-old right-hander was expected to contend for a job in the tribe bullpen, but he suffered cracked ribs in a workout the very first week of training camp and through his first two spring training innings this past weekend. Bob Ojeda was the Indians' star free agent signee and had been penciled in as the number two starter behind Charlie Nagy. The 35-year-old left-hander has 113 big league wins. But as throughout his career, Ojeda had a terrible spring and had been troubled recently with tendonitis in both shoulders. It was not known when he would have started pitching again. The loss on the field to an already thin pitching staff is obvious. But in a game that's measured by numbers, the loss to a young team that was trying to build chemistry is incalculable. Bob Stevens, News Channel 5. So full of life, with strong arms and the kick in their steps, firing the ball to home plate with rocket speed. And in seconds, taken away. The victims of a tragic boating accident in Florida. Steve Olin was indeed one of the tribe's family, one of the core group of players signed to a multi-year deal just last spring. He defied the odds as a 16th round draft choice out of college who made it to the majors in three short seasons. The 27-year-old threw sidearm and not very hard, but still led the tribe in saves the last two seasons and had climbed to third on the team's all-time save list. Before he left for spring training, we talked about his excitement over having his bullpen buddies back together for this season. The big thing I was worried about is uh, keeping the bullpen together because we had so much fun last year. and. And we just worked so good together as a unit, and uh, they kept us together, so I'm real excited about that. Cruz was excited to get a new start in baseball with the Tribe, signing as a free agent in January after six seasons with the L.A. Dodgers. He was expected to be a contender for the Tribe's long relief role, but suffered three cracked ribs during a workout the very first week of spring training, and had only begun to pitch again this past weekend. In L.A., Cruz was a teammate of Bob Ojeda, who at age 35 was signed over the winter as the veteran free agent to bring stability and leadership to a young pitching staff. Ojeda had had a rough spring and complained of tendonitis in both shoulders over the weekend, but was still expected to be the number two starter behind Charles Nagy. The real tragedy is that Olin leaves behind wife Patty, a three-year-old daughter, and twins born just last August. Cruz's wife, Lori, also has three children, ages nine, four, and two.